put on any hormonal therapy at present. There are known, known comorbidities. For ENT examination, oral cavity and throat, mouth opening was limited, around two and a half finger breadth. Ear and nose were within normal limits. Video direct laryngoscopy findings, bilateral vocal cords were mobile, no mass or growth seen, no phonatory gap. On NPL and stroboscopy, the video direct laryngoscopy findings were confirmed. Bilateral cords are mobile. There was minimal arytenoid congestion at the time of presentation. The patient had normal wave patterns and uh, amplitude was normal. The speech frequency of this patient was 143 hertz. Thank you. You should always live on the side of the light. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. I hope everyone is not overfull and sleeping already. That was a very nice lunch. Especially the baked bread pudding or what it was. Now we'll hold the chin down. So now I'm going back to the Clansessor laryngoscope. I'm not going to be doing video laryngoscopy in this particular patient. You know, because uh, that is triangular shaped anteriorly, which will make my space for the forceps even more narrow. So that would be a big disadvantage for me. Once I'm in, then you can let go. Assistant obscuring the beam a little uh, bit. Sorry, okay. Just, you're just helping yeah, okay, hold my. You. Okay, can you just push the chair fully in? Yeah, fully more in, little more in. Thank. No, push it more in, in. Not up. Ah, correct. Okay, no problem. So you all have an external picture right now, is it? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. You have to see that the lip is not getting caught up anywhere. As we discussed, and now, now you can leave it. As we discussed, we don't want to be too near the vocal folds also. So we can get a good drop at the anterior commissure. And you can see like in my setup, we are now, they've all now gotten used to it. So they've kept this. This should not be tied beforehand. I don't know whoever's doing that. Please open it. That is wrong because in fact that will Only tie one side. Then I have to see under pressure. So what happens is you tie the bandage on one side, but never tie beforehand on the other side. Just leave it. Then we have to see under pressure and do that. Make it open it fully. Yeah. Now, no, one of you will... No, wait, he has to come back. Under vision, he will give me the pressure. But it should be at the level of the cricoid and under vision. Now, ah, yes, please. Yes, please. And then I'm going to little bit withdraw after Sora is tied. Little bit, Sorry. I think it's become loose. Has it become loose or it's tight? So leave everything. Let me see what is happening. Huh. Let me see. I'll just withdraw a little and see if I'm happy. Mm. 
No, is, not table race. Is it picture? Picture is there. Hall, over to hall. Yeah, very much. Excellent picture is seen. Yeah. You want little more pressure? Wait, I'll just do whatever I can with this first. One second, just release it, one minute. Yeah, this is fine. Yes, if you can tie it up now. Yeah. No, it became a little loose. Yes, please make it, yeah. Huh, do. Okay? Okay. Can I have the... No, I'm fine. Thank you. Can I have the microscope, please? If any of the delegates have any questions, please feel free to ask during the procedure. Oh, I can have the light on. Huh. And it is on 400, right? Is the light okay there? No. We are not getting the microscopic picture. Oh, okay. Oh, now, we are, get now we are getting. Yeah. Uh, you can see the picture now. Yes. Quality, yeah. Yeah. quality okay. is good or any changes you need, you can tell yes. me. Again. Yes, it's better. Yeah, fine. But uh, I'm a little bit off one minute. Huh? Is it acceptable? Is it okay? Should I focus Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. A little bit fine-tuning needed, I think. Uh, zoom more. No. Fine-tuning is this, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now it is better. Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So, can I start then? Please, ma'am. Okay. Are we recording this, I hope? Okay, so again, steps are more or less similar. We are putting in the subglottic patty, right? I'll want the palpation next. You know, the flap elevator on a handle. My subglottic patty over here. So typically in an adult vocal fold, it is about eight millimeters that we are webbing. So, infiltration to me, please. After that, I'll need, uh, sister, the heart shape to the right with the scissors to the left, okay? One in 10,000. Just a little bit we are injecting in the subepithelial space. Ma'am, what is the size of the needle you are 27 using? 27 number. Bayonet shape, 27 number gauge, 22 centimeters in length. Now Thank I'll you. use the heart shape to the 
right scissors to the left will freshen the epithelium you can make the incision with a sickle also if you prefer then extend with the upward scissors also whatever uh, instrument is your choice Which instrument you are comfortable, madam? This Laser. Is Laser. Laser is my most comfortable instrument. It is an instrument. It is a tool. Two. Anterior commissure tendon is. There. So the setting is since I using I am using the laser. as a scanning mode i use it with 10 watts one patty squeeze squeeze and give yes i use it in 10 watts with super pulse mode and i have the uh, time on for about 0.25 as compared to the cooling time is about 0.3 acu blade is typically 1 and 1/2 mm in length here sometimes 2 mm also yes, then i also use the acu blade to measure sometimes you know again give me the same right side scissors left side uh, no no same little bit more i want to do uh, scissors to the left heart shape to the right same but uh, correct yes just little bit more i want to do of the inferior part sister you can also uh, ask for the sutures huh? we will be needing them right You have the suture, sister. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Infiltration for the left side. Just let me know if anything is not okay for you. Huh? Everything is okay. Okay. Fine. now the opposite ma'am benefit over the heart shape forceps and uh, normal cup forceps the heart shape forceps because they have got the lumen no in the center they allow for the tissue to pout out so the trauma to the tissue does not take place which has a lot of significance when we are sending for histopathology or if you are holding tissue for like laser or for cyst or not even laser but cup is like it will crush Okay. Okay. Morselize. It will morselize the tissue. So cup is a very bad uh, instrument for phono micro surgery. i'm cutting advancing cutting advancing this uh, thing these things they cannot become like that na no? this thing can it come out yeah can it happen no na ah oh. no no na ha huh, okay no no don't do anything if it can't then it's fine okay and uh, now i want again what you give me in the beginning i just again anterior commissure want to take out little epithelium so give me heart shape to left give me what you had just given me right now sister heart shape to left yes scissors to that correct correct this also comes in the way you know it can okay after we cut this because you know then in the suturing time i i have a feeling it somehow i think it was a little different in the first two i'm just taking out this most anterior commissure epithelium yes ma'am now can i have a scissors to the left please 
to the left side now. Hardship can be same, no problem. That's this is what I want out. Okay. Heart shaped again. Same. Same heart shape. Same, same, same. And scissors to the right. Madam Mary, ch changed your hands? Oh, I have changed. I am holding the heart shaped in my right hand. That's correct. Perfect. Excellent, we'll, Madam. We'll have a laryngeal wash now, please. Just give me that wash. Saline wash. We are ready to suture now. Huh. This can go here. No, no, I'm not talking about moving the microscope. I'm just saying that there is. Put, Madam. Hello. Yes, yes. Go ahead. When you are resecting the epithelium, yes, on the um, and uh, the superior arcuate and the inferior arcuate, yes, when you yes. are going like that, yes, and the uh, near the anterior commissure, uh, will you care about this subglottic space? Yes. So I want to make little subglottic space raw. Actually, you saw why? I, why? Because. Remember what I told you about Kim's technique? Yeah, yeah, Kim's technique, yeah. Yeah, three point. Yeah, three point. But so, even though I'm not taking a suture there, I okay. want the web to go a little bit inferior. That is why I'm making it raw. So, deliberately you are making raw in that area. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Great, great. Correct, super, correct, super, correct. Super, super, super. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone there. Thank so, you. give me one uh, medium patty now. We are ready for the suturing, but I'll just. Okay, I'm going in with the needle. Yes, madam. Now we are going to ask, request her to give pressure from right side, please. Okay. I have to release. One. You don't release the pressure, no. I'm just releasing lock, lock and ratchet. Crocodile, crocodile, move this away, just the instruments I want to keep here, keep on that side. This is a crocodile you've given me. Now you're stay near the mouth of the scope, okay? Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. No, you, you, sorry, what is your name, doc? Yes, yes, this is a good so that's why it's helping me. So just stay like that near the mouth, okay? Very good. Now that I'm out, you have enough space there? Yeah. Now you can stay like this level. Okay, that's fine. Now again, uh, same needle holder. Oh no, your light is not good. One second. They are not seeing well. What? No, no, this, they're not seeing well, no? Are they seeing okay now? Yes, madam. Is it okay? Yes, what okay. What about now? Better, madam. Will, will it do? Please continue, ma'am. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. Little okay. bit fine-tuning, I think. Fine-tuning? Is this better or worse? Yes. Uh, sir, how is the picture? Is there over to hall? Is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Yeah, fine. Can, fine. Can we fix this or you need any fine-tuning? Can we fix this picture? Yeah, little bit fine tuning, sir. A little yeah. bit fine tuning, sir. You need a little bit fine uh, yeah, yeah, focus. Sir. Okay. So one more thing, if possible, can you show the external camera also? Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. yes, sir. Okay. okay. Side by side, both we want both yeah. the frame. Yeah. Tell me, are we okay? Uh, is is it okay now? The picture. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. 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 Give me the other one. Give me the other one again. Give me the other one. 
Give me the other one. They want the external. Other needle holder. Ha. They want to see uh, the holder. Ma'am, any specific, ma'am, any specific landmark for taking the first bite, ma'am, for suturing first stitch where you have to take. About uh, four millimeters to five millimeters from anterior commissure. Yes. Okay, okay. Is, uh, now I may need pressure from the left side, sir. So, is, uh, uh, external camera is on. The Hello? external camera picture is there. Hall, uh, hall. Can you see yes. the external camera picture? Keep the crocodile ready. No, uh, 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 don't leave the pressure, please. Uh, uh, uh. No, one sec. When I, uh, I'll. When I tell, okay, you'll give the pressure because what happens is it moves. Even though the needle has gone in, when we release the pressure, the needle position sometimes moves. So we'll just see again. I need the pressure like this, sir. Here, here, huh? crocodile. I need to see that bit there. Let me see. Yes. Yeah, but the false cord, I think. Can you give me pressure? Not once, one sec. So, give me like this. Okay. See, then I can see that. Yes, sir. That I'm, I'm getting to see a glimpse of it now. Oh. It's there. Yes, ma'am. I just need to just stay like that one minute. Can we have less noise in the hotel? It's like uh, watching climax the movie. I'm going more by feel because I'm not seeing it. I want to see the one second, sir. One second, sir. Can you show me like this, see, like this? Yeah, that's right, show me, just press there. That's, po that's perfect, actually, that's perfect. I'm getting the... Can you give me a crocodile to the left, sister? Yeah, to the left. So you're right. No, no, don't leave, sir. You're perfect. Just press more. Don't press less. You are doing perfect job because I'm seeing that little tip With the help of another instrument uh, over the surface, it can give somewhat pressure. Yes, it has come. Can you give a little more pressure, sir? So I'll just see that tip better.
this, no, you, I have to. No. The false cord is coming in the way, so yes, but I need more pressure. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Good job, good job, that's fantastic, whoever's doing it is doing super, that's what I need. That's what I want, yeah. That's it, perfect. You know, actually it's a false squad edema. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you, sir. That maybe before the second stitch I'll reposition because that false squad on the left side edema is too much. Now, we have given steroid, no? Come, now you have to give me the needle, please. Without causing a knot. Just give me the needle. Yeah, release. Hold the mosquito. No, 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 hold my mosquito. Just hold like this. Don't make it loose or tight, okay? Not slider. Don't make it loose or tight, like, like this, okay? Can you hold like this? Very good. Yeah, don't make it loose also. Make it tight, please. Yes. Make it tight, please, your side. Yes. Just stay like that. Don't pull more than that. You're doing perfect job. Stay like that. Come, give me. Give me the needle, please. Hello. Quickly, give me the needle. Leave it. Wait, let, let it come. Hold this, hold like this, okay? Not slide up. Keep it tight. Uh -huh. I don't know why this is happening. Your needle is here. We have the same problem again for some reason with these sutures. Better you give me this now. What has happened is one of the needles is again broken, broken, but the thread has broken very near the... I mean, I can't pull it out. Crocodile? It's broken uh, too near the su suture. suture so I'll try to hold the other end and... This is the... Uh, this is the frayed other end, unfortunately. It's very little... You can see it's tiny, na? Yes, yes, madam. Mm. It is very difficult to. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. No, but the other end is so it's frayed up. Tiny. Yeah. This Material won't is, do. Is very I have yes. to make one more suture also, so it's too tiny for that. Let me see what I can do. Uh, I'm making the knot here. You, I can't explain right now what I'm doing. Some professor here will explain to you. And I'll take the frayed end. And, okay, do me one thing. Hold this, give me a scissor. Left, yeah, left. I'll try to make one more knot inside, you know, because we have only taken two knots, right? Mm -mm, don't move my microscope, please. It's moving. Now, I have cut the other thread, as you can see. Yes, ma'am. Now, give me two crocodile forceps. Another crocodile forceps. Straight. Straight, you have one more straight? No? Only left? Let me see.
madam you have a robotic arms madam your movement our navigation is instruments your arms and instruments is robotic is very great one thank you can you see what i did yeah fantastic madam thank you excellent very good job okay now sir uh, to the left e excellent madam excellent thank, thank you sir so the entire hall is stunning right on it just see that the lip is not getting caught huh? Will the light be better if I keep like this? One minute. I I don't know if it doesn't come in my way. They may get a better picture, na? They may. Mind your head. Better mind your head. One minute. I've purposely kept that light there. I think it may give you a better illumination. How is this for you all? Ah uh, yes, madam. Fine. Or I should take it out. I'll take out this. It's coming in your way, na? Yes, madam. Oh, where's the light? Camera, li uh, microscope light. Microscope light. Yeah. Hmm, this is yeah, better without it. Okay. okay. No. Oh uh, is it okay? No. So okay ma'am. No is is your focus okay? No ma'am no, it no. is focus a little bit uh, centered. Little bit centralized you are. Yes me yes ma'am. Is it better? Yes better ma'am. But your focus a uh, little bit yeah. needed fine tuning is needed ma'am mm -hmm. fine focus is needed. Okay ma'am okay. now it is fine okay, fine just fine just lock everything lock fine. everything fine. fix up everything then can we fix up everything okay, okay. should i do the next suture then okay come oh yeah how did that happen with my sh my shoulder i think how is it now fine focus needed or is okay Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Come, give me. Yeah, give me. You give that to her. Can I have the light here? You take this, please. Keep the mosquito in your hand. Uh, madam, little fine fine focus only, ma'am. Okay. Little, and center also. Oh, okay. Yeah, one, okay. One second. Okay. Okay. Take your time. Take your I'm time. I'm just holding the thing, and then I'll do it. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Just hold it. I'll just move the microscope a bit. Is it better? Now picture is better. Fine focus. Yes, ma'am. Please continue, ma'am. It's okay. Can I continue? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Continue. Please okay. continue. So these threads should intertwine. Did you put jelly on it, sister? You know, I think the problem is that knot slider is much too sharp. Otherwise, this fraying should not happen. Yeah. 
No, I don't like. Just making the bite a little fatter. I didn't like the first oh, yes, bite. Crocodile. No. Uh, are you near the scope? Your yeah. mosquitoes near the scope? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm asking you. Are you near the scope? Yeah, yeah, yeah near the scope. Okay. No? Okay. Because I want the thread to be loose. Yeah. Now, once I come out here, you hold like this. Okay, perfect. No, no. Let's get this. Just give me a mosquito. Okay. Not yeah, mosquito. Mosquito, yeah. Give me the needle. Leave it. I'll give you, wait a minute. Now you hold it. Hold it, yeah, like this. Perfect. Bus, like this, okay? Already you can make out it's thin for some reason, I don't know. You put jelly on this? Little tighter, better. Little tighter. Hold it little tighter. Ah, yeah. Do one thing. Can I try to slide it down with a crocodile? I'm thinking. No, you don't pull more than that, please. Don't pull more than that. There's something wrong with these. They never tear like this. This is... Madam... Uh, oh. Yeah. Madam... Crocodile? Uh, always you are using this 8-0 uh, vicryl. This is 6-0. 6-0 vicryl. And it's again broken. So yeah, yeah. something wrong because, you know, this way they never ever break. I've not even done one knot slider. So... Material. You got the needle, no? Yeah, now I'll have to make the knot inside only. I think it is... Leave, give this to me, please. 
Give me the crocodile to the left, sister. Now I'm pulling it. Yes. As you can see. Till I have this much end, I have to take the knot inside only. Now give me a scissor. Yeah, give me a straight crocodile. Give me a scissor. Left side will do, left side. You know, for the first knot to make inside is little difficult because you, that pressure, you can't get too much then. Last time it was the third knot. We'll see. Hmm? Can you try to get a 45 centimeter vicryl sister, which is um, 6 zero, uh, 12 mi millimeter tip, 12 millimeter tip and one 3 eighth curve. It is available. This one is 8 millimeter tip and one fourth curve. You, there is 12 millimeter. You got? I know. No, I don't need where the threads are breaking. So get the one which is 12 mm tip with 3 eighth of a curve. 45 centimeter. Just see in your ophthal. Check in your ophthal. Six zero. Six zero only, huh? Okay, sister, now give me crocodile to the right and left. Yeah, crocodile to the right and left. Now, now there's not much. You can just stand here. There's not much you can do because these threads are so thin they're breaking. We'll see if we can take a knot inside. Let me see. This is like a chopstick work of a yeah. Chinese. I'm trying to fight against the memory of the threads that they have. Don't make a noise, please. First knot, not to get that pressure, little difficult. 
No, 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 no. You don't give any pressure. <laughs> I'm talking about the pressure on the knot. See, it gets loose. Any luck with that one? Okay, otherwise what we can do now, we can use proline because that will not fray like this. If you can try to get proline. What about PDS, madam? Yeah, we'll do. Whatever has the length I need, I don't mind because... Even here it's staring. It's actually fraying in front of my eyes. You know, can you see it dissolve here? The thread is only giving way completely. No, this is no good. See, this whole thread is fraying even with my manipulation. Just give me a crocodile to the right and scissors to the left. Crocodile to right, scissors to left. You can give me proline, whatever you can give me, which will, you know, not fray. I think proline may be best. Scissors to the left. Proline, six zero. Huh. You just tell me what all is available, then we can decide what we want to use, you know. It's a pity because we had got both the sutures in. I mean, again, opening the same thing will have no meaning, you know, because it is fraying completely. Uh, what happened? Five zero is not available, but the needle is huh? One mm. No, single needle is okay. I don't mind a single needle. What is the length of the needle? Just give me whatever options you have. The show me the five o. Show me proline, whatever you have, you can show me. Show me that uh, five o. I don't mind one needle. Uh, what is the length of the needle you said? Show it to me. No, no, same thing I don't want. Show me the needle there. Mm. 
But what about six? Six zero proline? So what do we have available right now is the same thread which you gave me and otherwise needle tip. What is this? Okay, let's try. Yeah, let's try. How many mm is the tip? Six zero proline. What? The tip. And what is the length? How many? 70, 70, 70, 70. Okay. Open, okay. let's see. Yeah, okay. Open it, let's see. Let's see how it works. The needle is little big, but let's see. Give sister. Let's see. I've never used this before. Let's see how it works. Show me. Can we show outside also what we are using, please, to the audience? This is now, you said, 14 mm tip, right? No. 13 mm tip? This is, can you see outside camera? I am using a proline. What is in the OT? Outside camera not seen, ma'am. Hi. Okay. Suture material not seen. This is basic, they are getting the external camera. It is a 13 millimeter tip, 60 proline, correct? With one only needle. So you will hold this. Now that we have enough length. Light is no, not there. No, needle is on there. either side. Sorry? Light is uh, not there in external view. Put the light on, please. External, external camera remote. light on. Can you see now? Light on, please. No, this light. Huh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, the light is a little frozen. Now you can see, ma'am. Can you see? Now you can, ma'am. It's yes, a 13 mm tip, 60, 70 centimeters. The tip is very, very big of the needle, but I'm going to see if I can maybe take both the sutures same time or I don't know. Let me see. Only when I put it in, I'll know how it's going to behave. Yes. Let's give it a shot. I will need uh, where where is the professor who's giving me pressure from the right side? Yes, sir. One minute, ah, uh, one minute. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, pressure from the right side, complete. From the right. From the right. Okay. okay. Leave the pressure. Leave, 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 leave. Let me give them a picture. Now can I have pressure please? Professor? Are you giving? Oh, you're giving pressure? Okay. Oh. No. Okay, stop your pressure. I will take it in a different way then. Because the needle is big, I'll have to go parallel to it.
Give me a mosquito. And another mosquito. This one. Hold it one minute, hold it. crocodile to the right. So now I will not be able to see, you can also not see and I can also not see the needle tip which is gone in. So it will go by feel, okay? Because of the situation we are in, I don't need any pressure from anyone, I'm just going to go by feel and the needle will move when I've sort of held it. Push it in more. And I will take it out. It's a very big needle, so it gets stuck in the patty also. You're loose, your thread is loose. Is your thread loose? Please answer me. Yes. So just say yes, okay? And you stay on the right hand side. Because this thread is very long. That's what I'm saying, don't let that happen. Nah. You have to stay on your side. Why is, don't let any knot happen. Where is the knot, sister? Where is the knot? Huh? Where is a knot? You said there's a knot somewhere? Huh? Ille? Okay, you stay this side. We don't want a knot. No knot, no? Okay, no, okay. Give me knots later. Knots, give me a needle hold again. Huh? You just stay that side. It's 70 centimeters, so you know there's a lot of thread to get entangled here and there. I'm not holding things my usual way because the needle is very long. No, you take, you, you take your thread to your side, your thread is on your side. Oh yeah, it's too long. Oh, oh, please don't move the microscope. Mm -mm. Don't move anything, don't move anything. I don't know why I feel things are moving here. Okay, what we'll do is, we'll let go of a little bit of extension. Sister, can you hold this here, like this? Or I can let go of it one minute. I'm and going I'm to let go of a little bit of extension, the, so that I get more forceps space. But anyhow, the, neuro, the, the patty is inside, 
So nothing will happen if you I'm, are introducing I the entire needle. I want more space uh, for my needle posteriorly. So why can't you go, get it into the subglottic space and come out? Posteriorly, posteriorly. Posteriorly, posteriorly. yes. Posteriorly. Because patty is there, nothing will happen I think so. No, it's not a question of anything happening, I don't have the space. You see I have sutured anteriorly, no? So I want place posteriorly for my needle to go in. So I'm letting go of the extension anteriorly. Do you understand what I'm doing? Pull yours a little, yeah. Thank you. Don't want this need thread to come in our way. Crocodile. Crocodile. Give me a crocodile to the left. I think that had a better grip. Okay, it's okay, I got this now. Huh? Hopefully this will not fray. Is it out now? Now, what you do is, because you have a very long thread, no? Give me a scissors, stout scissors. Give me a mosquito. Give her that needle, give it to her. But we need the mosquito. Here, take this. Give me the mosquito. Give me the mosquito. Are you? Not with the needle, sister. You got the needle, no, sister? Sister, you got the needle? Yes. Have you got your needle? Yes. You hold this. Mosquito. One needle is with you, correct? Yes. Now let us see the length we have. That's okay. Come. Feed me that thread. The tip of the thread, feed it to me. Yeah, leave please. Very good. Now you'll hold this like this. Perfect. Now hold it like this, okay? Not slider. Don't keep it loose. Like this. Yes. Very good. Don't keep it loose, please. Keep it little tight. Mosquito. Give me your end, please. Give me the tip. When, you, when I say give me the tip, no, you can just... Give me some amount at least. The mosquito is not very good. Hold this. Like this. Not. I think your mosquito is not good. You give an near the mosquito. It's not good. Then hold it like this. Okay? That is correct. Because, you know, we need the correct amount of pressure. Did, you, did it break again? Yes. 
something is wrong with these threads, I don't know. Give me a scissors now, because there's no end to it only. Scissors to the left, Dr. Karthikin. I don't know. Yeah, hello. Your sutures uh, are behaving a little bit different from my sutures. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. Now, this is uh, our third suture. Okay. <laughs> Here's a needle. You know, this one is also broken. We have got to the l amount I want, but I'm very unhappy with the number of repeat knots, you know? Yeah, that's true. Uh, Hello. Though I have taken three suture, three ties, mm. I mean it should ideally work. I have let go of the extension, so we've got the. You can see the vocal process very clearly, can't you? I'll just show you that white shining thing behind is the vocal process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we could now see that. Now we are almost little less than fifty percent. So you know the extent of web I want is more than enough. It's just that the second and third tie I'm not at all very happy with. But I don't know what suture material to use now. I would not take any more posteriorly, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm done with the amount. All right. But you know... Uh, Will that... Uh, the knot pusher gives a problem or... Uh, maybe, maybe. Can I uh, see the knot slider? So maybe... You see, this is a new one he's made for us. Uh -huh. I don't know whether that is rough or, you know, very sharp or something. Probably the, uh, the suture material, what you use, same thing only, uh, yeah, the same exactly, company only we are using exactly it. Exactly what I yeah, use, so exactly. you know. So, uh, is there any scope of getting a hyaluronic acid, no, na? Injection? We, we, no, we don't no. have, madam. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and what about fibrin glue? Is so one, of the one of the delegates also asked about that, fibrin glue. I, is it possible or no? Okay. No, no, <laughs> tomorrow not. So then I think we just give her maybe three weeks of voice rest if she is willing rather than two weeks. That's the only thing I can suggest. We do have three sutures. If she does, if she takes voice rest for three weeks, we'll be good. No poor madam. Oh, I'm saying, if she takes voice rest for three weeks, we'll be okay. Do you think she'll take that? Yes, okay. madam. Yes, three okay. weeks. Three weeks. Okay. Okay. If you are going to use the uh, fibrin glue, yeah. It is a uh, sheet. The length, sheet length is very small. So how will you use it? Just on on top of my suture, suture. side. No, we just put no, no, the no, fibrin. No, no, no. I know. Glue. I know it, madam. It is having a two syringes and one uh, small knob. Sorry, can you say that loudly? What the are you saying? Tissue glue syringe. Yes. After making, it is having yeah. a two small one ml syringe. Yeah, yeah, we and put the two small thing. You know the infiltration needle we use, no? Or we use yeah. a fat one. Yeah, or the fat. micro flap suction, that's what we use. You're yeah. saying how we inject it in, no? Yes, yes. Yeah, both of those bottles, that no, tube which is there, we put it in this thick infiltration needle or the micro flap suction. Oh, applicator is, uh, separate applicator is available. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nothing special. Okay. It's, you know, this Fibrin thick costly. infiltration needle or a thin microflap suction. Yeah, yeah. And we spray it over this. Oh. I think we'll give her three weeks of voice rest now. That's what we'll do. Give me a crocodile forceps and I'll take out the patty. Also, for right now, give me saline in this. I'm going to just bulk up the anterior vocal folds with saline so they also stick together. Infiltration needle. You know how we do a test injection laryngoplasty with saline? This plain saline, no? Yes. So if one has hyaluronic acid, no, the idea is that you get an approximation anteriorly so the raw area sticks to each other for a month to six weeks. Can you have you have got a lure lock or something? You will inject in the paraglidic space. That's right. But anteriorly, huh? Yeah, yeah, anteriorly. Yes. You, you understand? Yes, yes. Is it block system? Drop, drop. 
No, but that's because you've given in a 10 cc syringe. No, give me in a 2 cc syringe with a lure lock. You have it a lure lock? Give it to me. You don't have a lure lock? You know what I mean? Lure lock? The lure lock? You know that uh, lure lock on the syringe tip? That curve? Give me more. That which goes round and round. We've injected saline in both the sides anteriorly. This will only last for 24 hours, huh? unlike the restylane, which lasts longer. Hmm. No, I want more saline. It's not drop drop, it's going properly. Haji, this is what I've done. Can you understand how they yes, get stuck? Yes, but I will very much follow. These are sutures. I'm talking about Tisil, fibrin glue. True seal is a suture. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about fibrin glue. You know what we use in CSF and all? Ah, yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, so this is, you understood what I meant by it sticking together when you inject in the paraglottic? Yes, huh? madam. Yes, madam. Okay, we give her three weeks. I'll just take out the patty. Give me a crocodile forceps. And I want the lignocaine spray again, please. And I want the suction, please. Suction, please. So tomorrow we should not use this knot slider. And we will have to find yeah. some other solution. Sure, we will we'll look into it, madam. Yeah. So today we will discuss about that. So okay. anything else is needed? Very we'll gentle have. extubation again. Can I have the spray, please? Yeah. All your patties are out? Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you, can you move? Can you move? You'll get hurt. Can I have the light carrier? Excellent demonstration, madam. Wonderful to watch in your in action. I think in this demonstration today, you saw a lot of things which can lot of go patients wrong, get there. difficult, how one has to somehow think and get ahead of it and tackle it. One is the sutures breaking, taking a knot within. One is how we can try to use various materials. We've made a raw area already. You make various materials to be injected into the paraglottic so vocal folds will sort of squish against each other. Ideally, if it is something like hyaluronic, then it stays also for a very long time. And uh, the importance of the knot slider not being sharp. So a lot of learning lessons. Can we have this pressure go away before I take the scope out? I'm happy to take any... Can we release this, please, somebody? Released? Okay. Any questions? Happy to take. Anyway, I think I will also be coming down. Suction again. Ma'am, one of the delegates had a question. Yes, please. Uh, when will you assess for the change in voice post glottoplasty and on which post-operative day? And if the desirable voice is not achieved, will the revision, revision surgery be possible? If so, what is the interval between the surgeries? Thank all, you, ma'am. All very nice questions. So, there's no bleeding here. Uh, two weeks is typically how much voice rest I give. So I typically see at two weeks. This particular patient, I'm giving three weeks voice rest. So whenever I'm going to start the vocalization, I want to see the patient. So either two weeks or three weeks, right? Anyway, Dr. Kim gives three weeks voice rest. Most people give two weeks. 
That is when I'll see first time just a simple flexible laryngoscopy, see how the web is doing. Then I'll start just gentle, as I already mentioned to you, relaxation therapy and confidential voice phonation 10 minutes an hour, 8 hours a day and gradually increase. If the web gives way, uh, definitely one can go in for a re-web. The minimum I would wait actually would be a three month period because one is, can I have a gauze just to wipe eyes? One is that you don't want bleeding and give through when you are taking your sutures. So you wait three months for the healing to take place and also give a chance for late fibrosis to form because you have made the whole area raw, etc. And you can very definitely do the rewebbing surgery again. But I just want to add over here and I will discuss in my tomorrow talk, just take this out, that supposing you have a web which became smaller, but is, there still is a web. Let us say the frequency went to about 180 or 170, we want 20 hertz more. Then you can do one or two very simple surgeries, which is the lava or the LAMR, where if you have a laser, you need a laser for that. Simply with a laser, we can put a pillow here, you can do what we call laser-assisted voice adjustment, where you just with the AccuBlade or even without an AccuBlade, you make a cut very lateral to the medial edge of the vocal fold. So what you're causing is scarring, scarification on either side. That buys you about 10 to 20 hertz. And when you do lava, in a patient who's done Wendler's, they do much, it works much better than if you do only lava. If you've done no other surgery and you just do a lava, there'll hardly be a 10 hertz increase. But if you do it with a web, you can get up to 20. And then you can also do laser-assisted mass reduction. It's like how we do, I don't know whether you've heard of a uh, laser-assisted uh, thyroarytenoid myonurectomy, where we burn the thyroarytenoid muscle on both the sides in cases of adductor spasmodic dysphonia. Over there we are doing it to because the adductor group of muscles is in spasm, so you're kind of destroying them. Here we are debulking it because we know what is the pitch dependent on. Decrease the mass, decrease the length, increase the tension or have scarification, all of this increases the pitch. So sometimes you can just add on with lava, LAMR, or if needed, you can do a reweb surgery again after three months. Thank you. No more questions in the hall? No more questions, we can wind up. Anyway, madam is coming to hall down. Just one question. Vijay, Vijay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, um, instead of uh, LAMR, can we do a coblate resisted uh, endotamine? Yes. That also even the works. Even the thyroid myonorectomy for spasmodic dysphonia, you can do with coblation. Here is a place where coblation may work better uh, when you're going into the muscle because coblation has got cutting and quag mode and the muscle bleeds a lot. So definitely one can use coblation. Even Kashima is a surgery where coblation works very well because you've got the quag mode also. This lava cannot be done with coagulator. It's not that it cannot be done. You can do it. You have to go only epithelium deep. It may okay. not be as fine a cut, but that's okay. You can do it. Lava also, LAMR also, Thank with you. coagulation. Thank you. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you very much. I think no more questions. Hello? Yes. Uh, Vijay. Uh, what is the anesthetist experience in yeah, these yes, three, four cases? Yes, he will tell his uh, experience and uh, dilutions, what are the… Madam, any madam, please, over to you. Yes, Good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Annie, by the way. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We are able madam, to see you. Audible. You are audible, well audible, no? Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm great. Dr. Annie. Great. A professor in the department, yes. Sure. Sir, so it was uh, this surgery, we are uh, doing it for the first time. First that time. So my team. So what is your experience? So it was very interesting because uh, they are going to narrow the uh, vocal cord uh, aperture. So, so we had to treat it, uh, make sure there was no vocal cord edema post extubation. So the anti-edema measures. And they are transgender patients, so all those uh, considerations was very interesting for us. Sir. So we had seen the patient, worked them up and then taken. It was very interesting. 
So and we had a lot of uh, learning points. I think your heart rate is also increasing. No, sir, no, sir. We are calm and cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. It Super. is a nice team. Thank you. Thank you, sir.